do I have something to talk to y'all about? Let's get into it. <laughs> it's like I forgot how to shoot a YouTube video. What the f What's going on everybody? My name is Eli and I'm a third year dental student at Boston University Goldman School of Dental Medicine. On this channel, I make dental school vlogs as well as videos with advice for pre-dental students. So if that's something that interests you, please make sure you like the video, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Now, let's get into this video. I wanted to talk today about something that I came across and I feel like it's very important to share this information with the pre-dents that follow my channel or that might come across this video. Let's talk about the dental school threads. Reddit, Student Doctor Network, shoot, even the DAT Bootcamp Facebook group all these things. These threads are detrimental to pre-dental students and I'm going to tell you why. I came across a Reddit thread uh, last week and I literally just had to screenshot it and I said I'm going to make a video about this because I see this type of these type of posts countless times over and over whether it be on Student Doctor Network, Reddit, Facebook groups, it doesn't even matter. The post says and I'll pop it here so you can read along with me title of the post is, Should I Give Up on Dentistry? This is in the Reddit pre-dental thread. I just retook the DAT for the second time and scored an 18 AA. First time was a 17 AA. I definitely feel like a loser, but should I give up and not even apply? I mean, what would be the point if I know I won't get in? All I see is 24 and above on Reddit. Thanks for your honest advice in advance, guys. bro this is not good this is not good and this is nothing to do with the person that posted this but give up on dentistry because you got an 18 on the dat come on at like and of course they don't know any better than that but bro there's plenty of people in dental school that got 18 on a dat what do you mean you know you won't get in what do you what do you mean i think that too often people log on to these threads and they see the people that aren't scared to share their scores and their GPA. Do you know why they're not scared to share it? They know it's good already. They're there to brag. 24 and above? That's rare. That's not even that's not even common. If you go on the Adia Dental School Explorer, the average A, the average AA for people entering dental school is like a 20 to 21. 24 and above who's even getting that like bro let come on come on bro come on come on giving up on dentistry because you got an 18 on the dat is blasphemous blasphemous like it makes me feel bad for the person that posted this because they don't they don't know any better but also like they have people telling them that this isn't a good score or this isn't a good enough score to get you into dental school and that's where the problem originates right then and there now part of the reason why i made this video and didn't want to limit it to just reddit is because i see these posts on all the forums and all the threads there's posts like this on student doctor network all the time and in the facebook group on dat bootcamp don't even get me started i actually left that group when I saw someone asking if they should retake the DAT after getting a 22 AA. A 22 A, a 22 AA. I just told you guys the average for accepted students is, is like a 20 to 21. Retake for a 22 AA? Gotta be kidding me. Like, bro. It's the blind leading the blind out here. I need all the pre dents that follow my channel to understand that admissions officers are not scrolling through these threads. No one is giving you valid advice but an admissions officer, to be quite honest. Everyone else, it's opinion, 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 and occasionally you'll have the a-holes that will come on there and discourage you just because they don't want to compete with you. Plain and simple. And it sounds absurd, but after two years of dental school, I'm telling you, there's people out there. There's people out there that think like that. They don't want to compete with you, so they'll tell you anything they can to shoot you down. Doesn't matter if you got 18, 19, 20, it does not matter. Tell people you got 3.5, they'll tell you that's not good enough. So you got to run your own race, and these dental school threads are they're bogus. Like, they're just bogus, bro. Like, let's be real. These dental school threads are bogus. They're full of crap, and most of the time, you're not getting good advice from them. 
I'll be the first person to say it and I don't care what kind of backlash I get from it because pre-dental students need to hear this. You cannot go on a dental school thread and expect people that are in the same position as you to give you valid advice. They don't know any better than you do. They might know what one admissions officer said out of the 65 plus dental schools in the, in the United States. Give up and not even apply after getting an 18 AA. And all I see is 24 and above on Reddit. That's because they want to brag. They want to brag. Look at what I got, 24. Look at what I got, 25. Like there are not people getting these scores on the regular. You only see 24 and above on Reddit is because people with the 21 don't want to post their scores. All like the imposter syndrome is real. The like, come on, man. Like I needed to make a video about this just so the pre-dental students that follow my channel can understand. I am in dental school with a class of 100 plus people. There are people who got 18 AAs on their DAT in dental school. There are people who got 17s on a DAT in dental school. The DAT at the end of the day really doesn't translate very much to dental school at all. It's a formality, but that's another topic for another day. And I've said that in other videos on my channel before. Um, but I, like, I just need you to understand that these forums, these threads are like nine times out of 10 full of BS. Like. I wouldn't say nine times out of 10, but like seven times out of 10, they're full of BS. Let me give you a personal story. So I used to scroll around on Student Doctor Network a lot. I stopped. It's not worth it. I went on there because when I was applying to dental school, there was like a, um, a thread that was tracking uh, when schools were sending out interviews, right? So I'm scrolling on the thread, right? And I'm looking, trying to see, you know, where I applied and how that matches up with schools that were sending out um, sending out interviews already. So I'm scrolling and I'm scrolling. I'm seeing some schools that I applied to. I'm seeing some that I haven't applied to yet. And you know, it's helping me. It's helping me feel good. Like, okay, I haven't missed out on this school yet. I haven't missed out on this school yet. Right. But when I got my interview for Boston University, uh, the person that was running the thread said to reach out to them if you're getting interviews and you know, so they can update the thread. When I, got my, when I got my interview for Boston University, I reached out to them and I said, Boston University has started sending out interviews. The person was like, no, they haven't. Why would I lie? What do I have to lie for? Like, do you want, do you want to see the interview invitation email? Like what, Go, like, you know what I'm saying? This is why I'm like, you can't even trust these threads. You can't, you can't trust these threads. All they're like, come on, come on. I just had I just had to make a video about this. Reddit, Student Doctor Network, all these stuff. These are dangerous places for pre-dental students. These are super dangerous places for pre-dental students. Discouragement is running amok. It's running amok. Give up on dentistry because you got an 18 on the DAT is absurd. The DAT isn't even like that's not your whole application. I need people to move away from this idea that your DAT and your GPA mean everything because they don't. They really don't. Like, bro, come on. Like, there's more to you than a DAT score. And the 18 isn't even that bad. It's not even really bad. Like, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta think here. We gotta think here. Like, this is, this is crazy, bro. Like, the fact that this thought to give up even crosses someone's mind because of an 18 is like, where where did we go wrong? Where did, where did we go wrong? Like, I don't know. But, you know, this is just a quick video. I don't even want to ramble too much, but I just made this video to say, if you're a pre-dental student and you come across this video, or if you're a pre-dental student and you follow my channel and you watch this video, like try your best to stay away from these these threads man they're dangerous and all they they rarely help they rarely help they only help the people that want to feel good that know they're in a good position already if you're in a position where you're feeling unsure this is not the place to run to it's really not it's not going to do anything for you it's not going to make you feel any better all it's going to do is give you conflicting thoughts and invalid opinions these people don't matter 
they're not on the admissions board at a school majority of the time. People on the admissions board aren't coming off of work, sitting down on a Reddit thread and typing responses to everybody. Come on now. We gotta move past this mindset of putting people down and making people feel like they're less than. It's not gonna do anything for the community and you're gonna miss out on some good dentists that give up when they have a fair shot. Anyway, that's all I wanted to say in this video. I needed to make a quick video to talk to my subs. Thank you all who have been watching the video so far. I can't believe I'm already a third year dental student. Um, White Coat movie coming soon. Just got some delays due to some things that are out of my control, honestly. Uh, what else? I, I have some really big, really important announcements coming soon in the uh, on the channel. And um, I'm excited to share them with you. But uh, other than that, you know, this is this is my first time filming a sit down talking video in a while so it's a little awkward for me but uh, i'm trying to get right you know what i'm saying uh anyway thanks for watching the video stay encouraged if you're you know if you're a pre-dent that's trying to get into dental school i'll see y'all in the next video peace